Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I mean, we are talking a seriously over-the-top beautiful spring day in midsummer here in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm in the Finger Lakes of New York, baby. Where it is a Tuesday morning, July 2nd, 2024, <clears throat> as we head into the second half of uh, whatever this year turns out to be in collapse history. Uh, and I guess the 4th of July clueless morons will start trickling in today and picking up steam tomorrow so uh, I guess I will have a busy week making my piles of money here as a vacation rental super host so uh, might be some uh, intrusions into my privacy the next few days so I don't know what I'm going to be doing in the ways of videos but I don't know I'm just going to tell you a story I, I don't know if I've ever told a story from my high school days but since I am uh, since I am a what, what am I Michael Caffey a a self-absorbed misogynist so we're going to uh, I'm gonna be my my usual self-absorbed misogynist self and just tell you this little story that I thought about uh, after I did that rant on that uh, contemptuous little bitch Jessica Wildfire and his little suck up uh, brownie point ass liquor uh, toady Michael Campy Jessica Wildfire's uh, chief uh, ass licking toady and uh, so anyway as you may have figured out I have never been a fan of cliques. I've never in my life been a joiner. And I don't consider the Doomosphere a clique. I would say, uh, we're a, a loose band of misfits, I guess you would uh, call us. But I do not consider the Doomosphere a clique. We all know what a fucking click is. And I have never... It's just never appealed to me. The whole click lifestyle. And... This goes back, certainly when I was in high school. I was I was one of these kids... Uh, I, I was in a weird social position in the, in the hierarchy in uh, high school... Because none of the cliques knew what to do with me uh, because I did not fit into any of their cliques. Uh, strangely enough, I, I was not a, a social outcast because I had no interest in joining any of all, you know, all the various cliques uh, from the from the bad boy stoners right on up to, you know, the jocks and the cheerleaders and, 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 and all of that shit. Um, but what I did is, although I never joined the cliques, I had friends from all the different cliques. I based people on their character. Uh, this was one thing 
that my mother Elaine Mitchell uh, drilled into her children, you base people on their character. My mother uh, had no problem trash talking people of what what's the of low <clears throat> I've always used the term low decree. Uh, I might have been is it is it the people of low degree or low decree? Uh, I always said low decree, but I think I might have been saying that wrong my whole life. So I try in in, in hell since, since I was six years old. Uh, and I think I'm a pretty good judge of character, although since uh, falling down into the cesspool of the Doomosphere, I, uh, my, I notice my judgment of character has been off uh, many times over the past few years when dealing with Doomers, but that's a, I already had that rant last night about Doomers of low decree. Uh, but anyway, so I have always tried to, you know, judge people by their character, uh, regardless of what fucking clique uh, they're in. As, as long as they have no problem with me, uh, I, I had no problem with them. And so I had friends all across the click spectrum in my high school uh, from you know the the boys and girls uh, the, you know the, the bad kids the, those bad kids uh, I would run around with them sometimes uh, and all the way up to the most popular, uh, boys and girls in, in my high school. Uh, I was good friends with probably the, you know, the top four or five uh, most popular people in high school, and I, and I was not sucking up to them. I, uh, uh, they were the, the one of the reasons, even in high school, that they were so popular is because they they were genuinely nice folks. I, you know, just a few weeks ago, I did a video on it. I met up with uh, with a buddy of mine. I'll just call him uh, Billy Bob. who was probably the single most popular kid at his Druid Hills High School in Atlanta, Georgia. I was supposed to be the graduate with a class of 78. And, you know, he was captain of the football team and blah, blah, blah. And he was a genuinely nice guy. As I say, I got together with him a few weeks ago. I uh, hadn't seen the guy in over 40 years, and we gave each other a big hug and just picked up the conversation we were having 40 years ago. Um, so anyway, this has always been my style, but I have assiduously avoided cliques that exclude other people. I had I, I, I it, it just it, it, any uh, what was the old Woody Allen joke? I would I would never be a member of a club that would have me as a member. Uh, if it's somewhere along the lines of that famous Woody Allen joke, and this is how I have always led my life, and I still lead my life to this day. That. Uh, I, I do not, I, I'm just not a joiner, uh, yet I try to be friendly with anybody uh, who, who's not a fucking asshole or a bitch. But the problem is, as we know, the vast majority of people, and more and more and more, uh, are fucking assholes and fucking bitches. So it's getting harder to avoid assholes and bitches. Uh, but there, there, there's still a few people 
left out there. But anyway, back to my high school days. So one of the very popular girls, and this is her real name, was named Leela Patton. Leela Patton, uh, you know, she was a cheerleader, and, uh, you know, she was this good-looking, blue-eyed blonde, and, you know, we grew up together in uh, in the same neighborhood. I, I, I was, I'm pretty sure I was in kindergarten with, with, with Leela Patton, and uh, we were always uh, totally friendly to each other. Uh, never had a problem with, with, with Leela Patton my whole life. We weren't real close friends, but we were, you know, we were schoolmates, we were classmates and neighbors, and uh, we tended to show up at the same parties and, and whatnot. And so I just certainly considered her to be a friend of mine. And then there was this fellow... <coughs> One of my uh, one uh, close friend of mine, his name was Sam Wilkins. Sam Wilkins was certainly in the the top ten, if not the top five uh, of the most popular kids uh, at Druid Hills High School. I I was in. I, I literally was in uh, kindergarten with Sam Wilkins. So we went right up uh, together, you know, classmates year after year after year from kindergarten right on through high school. So anyway, <clears throat> as I have mentioned before, <clears throat> while I do have five years of college, I never graduated from high school. I am not a high school graduate. At least back in the 1970s, it's probably changed now. You did not have to graduate from college. I mean, you did not have to graduate from high school to go on to college. If you took your SATs and scored well, uh, you did not have to graduate from high school if you could SAT and clep your way out of it. So, uh, <coughs> so I only officially uh, went through 10th grade. Uh, so I went through 10th grade you know, in the regular public school system, warehouse system at Fernbank Elementary in Druid Hills High School. And then what I did is, I, I, I can't remember their details, but there were some certain core classes you did have to take. So I <clears throat> transferred out of Druid Hills at the end of 10th grade. And uh, took a, and, and, and finished my coursework at the what they called the alternative school, the alternative school, you know, which is pretty much for the bad boys. So I did a little bit of, of coursework there, but uh, it was about ten and a half years of schooling I, I had, and uh, but but I completely skipped my senior year in uh, of high school. Uh, it, I never set foot in a high school uh, in, in my senior year, which would have been 1978. What I did is uh, first I um, built well, kind of oversaw uh, the building of this cabin on our land in North Georgia. And when I finished that, I hitchhiked around <clears throat> the country with my dog. With my dog, Joshua, I, I took pretty much 
a year, what would have been my senior year in high school. I could have gone straight on to college, but I decided to take a year off what would have been my senior year in college, hitchhiking around the country with my dog. And uh, so it was during that year, this so this was either 1977 or 1978 in there. But I would come back, you know, I would take these trips with the dog. I would come back to Atlanta and then go off on another trip. So I was in Atlanta and I bumped in to my friend Sam Wilkins. And so when I was in Atlanta, you, you know, I would see my friends who were still seniors in high school. So I bump into Sam, and he tells me he's having a party. Uh, he, he goes, uh, he goes, man, great you're in town. I, I really hope you can come to my party. And I said, well, I'll make sure that, I, uh, that I'm not running off somewhere. So he gives me the date of the party. Let's call it a Saturday night. I mean, I, obviously, I don't remember the date and night. He said, Let, let's call it, he said, I'm having a party at my house on Saturday night, March 20th. I'll say 1977. I don't know. Uh, somewhere in there. Anyway, so he says, I'm having a party at my house on Saturday night, March 20th, 1977. And I want you to be there. And I said, I would love to. I will, uh, I will see you there. And uh, so we parted company, and I was looking forward to going to Sam Wilkins' party to see my old friends, including, among other people, Leela Patton uh, uh, and, and, and the rest of the, the, the popular folks. Now, Sam Wilkins probably did not have... Well, actually, come to think of that party, I remember that, that some of the bad boys... Sam Wilkins even though he was in the upper echelon of the most popular kids in the school, he also uh, was a good judge of character, so he did not exclude... You see what I'm saying? He, he was much more open-minded than, than some of these, the, the, these click people. <clears throat> so... Uh, Anyway, I plan to go to Sam's party. And then a day or two later, I actually remember where I am. I, I was at the McDonald's on North Decatur Road in Atlanta, Georgia. And who do you think I bumped into? I bumped into Leela Patton. We hadn't seen each other probably in a year. So, you, you know, she gives me a big hug. And we're there. We 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 sit down together. It's just the two of us. I can't believe that she, that Leela Patton was by herself at McDonald's uh, as I was. So we sit there, and uh, and and catch up. Uh, she seems genuinely glad to see me. And we're having lunch together, <clears throat> and I mentioned to her. To, about Sam Wilkins' party. And I said, you know that Wilkins is having uh, this party on Saturday night, uh, March 20th. Uh, I, I, said, I, uh, I said, I assume you're going. And uh, she, she goes, oh, of course I'm going to Sam's party. She goes, but it's not March 20th. And, and I said, what do you mean it's not March 20th? She, she said, it's the next week. It's March 27th. She goes, you have the wrong Saturday night. That it's March 27th. And uh, I'm saying, are you sure, darling? I, 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 I said, I got the information directly out of Sam's mouth. And... Uh, she goes. She she goes. Well, Sam, I don't know what to tell you, uh, but it but it's March twenty seventh, and I will see you at the party. We parted company. Probably gave each other a big hug. 
she heads off one direction, I head off uh, the other direction. So uh, I, I, I called Sam and uh, just confirmed that I was right. Uh, that the party uh, was, was March 20th. And he confirmed that. And I told him what happened uh, w w w with Leela, and, and and he seemed like, uh, like uh, he was confused why Leela Patton would have told me that. Uh, that uh, you know he assured me he knew that Leela Patton knew goddamn well what night his party was. Uh, you know, obviously Leela Patton, uh, one one of the little. Queens of uh, 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 Druid Hills High School knew goddamn well what night, but, but anyway, uh, we just shrugged it off. So, uh, I go to Sam Wilkins' party on Saturday night, March 20th. And uh, I, I got there a little bit late, as I tend to do. And, uh, I, I mean, it was a big bash. And I walk into this crowded house. Uh, the, 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 this crowded house, there were probably, good Lord, at least 50 uh, people. And, and, and uh, it, it, so the, the party's in full swing. <clears throat> and I'm sitting there, you know, saying hi to all these people who haven't seen me in months and they want to hear about my hitchhiking adventures and stuff like this and <clears throat> having a, a great you know you know how it is when you when you arrive at a party and you're and you're just trying to work your way through the crowd and you know stopping by and saying hi to people blah 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 you can't really get into conversation so uh, <clears throat> it took me a while to work my way in to, you, you know, to the big nerve center of the party. So I get to like the, the middle of the action in the living room <clears throat> and you can take a wild fucking guess who is sitting there on the couch, you know, all decked out in her little Saturday night finery with her little with her little uh, gang of ass-licking toadies uh, around her, you know, all of the, the beautiful people, all of the popular girls and whatnot, uh, you know, hanging around her uh, is Leela Patton. Leela Patton sitting there uh, on the fucking couch, uh, you know, holding court uh, at the party, being the little uh, social butterfly that uh, she was, probably talking about her upcoming debutante ball or whatever the fuck coming out of that little bitch's mouth. So I walk into the room, and I go, Leela Patton, Imagine meeting you here, and you should have seen the fucking possum in the headlights look on uh, uh, on her face. And I I I I, I wish to fuck I had a I had a uh, microphone because I unleashed on that little cunt who I had been friends with. Uh, pr pr pretty much since the day I was born. I let that little cunt have it. And I mean, it, it was, uh, it, 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 um, and she was just like, ah, ah, ah. you know, that, 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 that how dare uh, that uh, I talk to her that way in front of all of her friends. And she looks over at, at, at So Wilkins, <clears throat> so the host of the party, so Sam Wilkins, comes in 
and, 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 and sees me giving this fucking little bitch a, 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 a piece of my fucking mind. And, and she, you know, she looks at him, she, she, she goes, Sam, how are you going to let him talk to me like this at your party and uh, tell him uh, to get out of here and kick him out of here? <clears throat> and, and, and Wilkins just looked at her and uh, just, just said, uh, Sam has a right to his opinion, Leela. Oh, God. She shot up off of that fucking couch, and that little bitch uh, was out the fucking door. And, and, and there was, you, you know, a moment of this absolute stunned silence that I had just told, you know, one of the reigning queens of the popular girls at, uh, at Druid Hills High School to go fuck herself. Go fuck yourself, Leela Patton, you fucking little bitch. And uh, it, it was it was hilarious. I mean, people were coming up to me all night at that party, congratulating me and and thanking me. Uh, how many people came up to me that night and said, like, dude? Do you have any idea how many years, how many years I have been holding that fucking tongue whipping you just gave that little bitch? I was the, I was the hero of the night for, for telling uh, the, the, the little prima donna debutante queen of the cheerleading team or whatever the fuck that little bitch was where she, that she could go fuck herself <clears throat> you know I, 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 I don't give a fuck who you are You're either a fucking decent person or you're not. And, and, and I fully admit, especially here on Humpty Dumpty Drive, because it's part of my performance art, I can be a fucking asshole. I can be a serious fucking asshole. If you ever want to get in the fucking asshole game, bring it on, asshole. Bring it on, bitch. I'll give it right back to you. But uh, I, 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 I'm not a lying sack of shit. Uh, I don't run around in your fucking little cliques. I don't exclude people uh, because they're, you know, the bad boys or the bad girls in the eyes uh, of these fucking stuck-up bitches and stuck-up assholes. I, 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 I can't deal with the, the, these lying sacks of shit and these stuck-up bitches. Never could, can't now, never will. I'll take my fucking dog uh, 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 over the vast majority of the human race. We really need to go. We really do need to go. We're fucking pieces of shit. But anyway, I need to wrap this up because I need to go fetch my Amish friends to we got to get a uh, screen porch built on the front of Hummingbird today finally. So I am going to go uh, be hanging out with the with, with probably the, the single nicest family of human beings I have ever met in my entire life, these Amish guys. with the nine children so far. Uh, th this is the single nicest family I have ever met 
in, in, in my entire life. I, I, I would trust any one of the people in this family of 11 uh, m more than I trust 99.9% .9 of my fellow humans. And then I got to get ready for the clueless fucking morons. Coming into bugs in a jar for the 4th of July, baby. I'm sure there will be some rants about that. Bye, guys.